Welcome to the video guys where I disclose my stock photography and videography earnings for the month of July 2023. And what have I been up to in July? Well, I have had a week off uh, work and I spent that time with the family down in the southern province of Limburg where I focused on finishing my uh, book cover portfolio to send to Archangel Agency. And when I came back, I applied to the Archangel to be a book cover contributor. I stupidly made the mistake uh, of doing it while I was rushing and I had five minutes between different tasks and I thought, oh, I'll just send this application through. And I stupidly put a link to my Shutterstock photography portfolio. And that mistake has cost me dearly because now they think that I'm a stock photographer who's just taking a few photos that look like book covers uh, and they've rejected me. They said that my portfolio, although is good, it's not in line with what they want for book covers, which is understandable because they weren't uh, book covers. So I reached out to another person there and I sent uh, my actual book cover portfolio uh, but that got rejected for some reasons like copy space, uh, they weren't vertical, and they weren't single subjects, uh, which was not the case. They were all those things, so I pointed that out to the, the person. And then they came back saying, yes, we have a lot of stock photographers who take up a lot of time and resources uh, by submitting uh, some photos that are worthy of book covers, but then after they're uh, accepted, then we spend a lot of time having to reject them and coach them into the right kind of photos. I am paraphrasing that and not quoting the person directly, but that's the impression I got from the reply email. That mistake of connecting to my Shutterstock portfolio has cost me dearly and uh, it looks like that year of compiling my portfolio is a waste of time now and I'm going to have to completely go back to the drawing board and recompile a portfolio to send them that tells them that I am a book cover photographer and to do that I'm going to have to get uh, models in, uh, maybe period clothing and costumes which is going to cost me a huge amount of time and possibly also money, which I don't have. So it's taken me a couple of weeks to get over the disappointment of making that mistake and paying the consequences of that mistake, uh, which was really stupid. But I just have to live with it now and try and do the best that I can with the hand that I've been dealt. I think to get over that disappointment, I'll just focus on my stock photography for a few weeks until the pain goes away because I was so looking forward to being a book cover photographer. And I really love uh, the genre and just making those kinds of creative images. Uh, I know Alex from Brutally Honest uh, Stock Photography He's been very encouraging to me, so I feel doubly stupid that I made such a silly mistake. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's come to nothing after so long. So what else have I been up to in July? I rented the Canon full frame mirrorless R8 body uh, because I want to buy that camera to replace my old Canon 70D DSLR crop sensor body. And I just paired it with my 400mm uh, long lens, the Canon L5.6 Prime, and just to see how it worked. And I got some really good results uh, with that lens, even with video handheld using the digital stabilization of the Canon R8. And I think in the long term, when I can finally afford it, I'm going to. Uh, buy that camera, hello, and uh, use that as my stock photography and hopefully my book cover photography body. 
what else have I been up to? I sent my book to two literary agents four weeks ago and I never got a response back from them. One was in the UK and one was in America. And my disappointment with that is less so now because my expectations were very low, to be honest. Um, I've only sent it to two agents, firstly, and I know from a friend of mine who's just recently been published that it's like a 99% chance you won't get accepted by an agent or a publisher. So I'll send it out to like up to a dozen more agents and see what happens. If it doesn't work, then I'll self-publish. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Okay, now into the stock photography earnings for July. And we'll start off with Shutterstock. And with Shutterstock, I have 2,452 picks and 182 videos in my portfolio. And I had 47 downloads for the month of July. A low light of the month was that I sold five videos for a total of only $2. Uh, and I think on the last day I sold another couple of videos and that was like for a total of 50 cents. So that's pretty disappointing. Just check that I'm recording, I am. I did however have some nice highlights with some photos and one of them, or well, two of them actually, were of uh, the orange and pink tulips which I've been selling a shite load of uh, in the last three months or so and one of them sold for $16.75 as a commercial image and then I sold it again for $4.12 or so as a commercial image uh, a little bit later in the month. So that's uh, pretty good. Those flower, especially the tulip and daffodil photos are really performing for me. I also sold a single uh, photo of a wallaby on Bruni Island in Tasmania for $3.63. In total for Shutterstock I had $36.78. Okay, the small fish agencies now which I haven't uh, really uploaded to in the last few months and I think apart from deposit photos and dreams time I'm not going to bother with uh, uploading to those agencies. I made $6.40 in total. Uh, one of the highlights was of a pumpkin, a photo of a pumpkin which I sold for $2.22 on deposit photos and uh, that was pretty much the only highlight for the small fish agencies. Okay, now to Pond 5 where I have a few hundred uh, videos now. I think it's between two and three hundred videos. Uh, I don't upload any photos to Pond 5. Um, and I had one uh, upload for July and it was when I was in Amsterdam testing out the Canon RP with the Super Zoom 24 to 240 millimeter Canon lens and I was just standing outside Amsterdam Central Station hand holding and videoing the Eurostar train as it slowly pulls into Amsterdam Central Station and that video sold for $11.51 okay now to Getty Eye Stock which was very disappointing in July as compared to uh, the previous month where I think I made more than 35 to 38 dollars out of memory. Uh, in July for Getty Eye Stock I only made $10.59 and there were no highlights, there were only um, a few picks that made uh, anything more than uh, $1.50 uh, so, and no video sales either so yeah not too good for Getty Eye Stock. Adobe stock was also down this month compared to last month where I got that $50 bonus uh, with a free allocated assets thing. Um, I had 32 downloads and I have a portfolio of 1135 images and just 58 videos. Uh, a couple of the highlights were that I sold three photos of the American AMC Pacer that was parked a few streets away 
on the side of the road and they sold for 99 cents each. That AMC Pesa sells at least a couple of times every month on the various agencies, so that's a, a good one. It was also featured in the movie Wayne's World, so it's probably well known for those reasons. I also sold a recent photo that I uploaded from my iPhone of a uh, American Airstream caravan that I saw in Tasmania and that sold for 95 cents and in total for uh, Adobe stock I made $24.30 okay now to my best performing agency for the month of July and uh, this has been a regular thing more in 2023 than I think the last two years before that and that's Alamy. Um, for Alamy I made two sales and they are actually significant sales and they were both editorial royalty free photos. One was of uh, the water or the bay in front of the Nemo Science Museum in Amsterdam Harbour and there's some really interesting like boats in the foreground and in the background you have the beautifully uh, green colored I think it's copper clad it's got a nice green color to it now uh, of the Nemo Science Museum that sold for $51.42 remembering that there is uh, the commission that Alamy take out of that total and I'm not exactly sure what that percentage is whether 40 or 50 percent or less uh, the second uh, editorial royalty free photo is of a close-up of a decal or a decal or a sticker on the side of a Tasmanian police car and it shows the emblem of the police service and I think some text uh, and uh, like light blue and white and some yellow fluorescent color uh, and I took a close-up photo of that which is uh, probably used for some kind of uh, news uh, editorial publication whether it's television magazine or newspaper I don't know anyway that sold for forty nine dollars and eleven cents so in total uh, without the commission being taken out I made a hundred dollars fifty three for Alamy and of course miners that uh, commission that Alamy take out of that. If you like this video and it's helpful for you, please hit that like button because it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos and I make virtually no money out of it whatsoever. I just do it because I like it and I like helping other stock photographers get better and earn more money. So hit that like button and that'll help me out greatly. Thanks guys. So in total for July I made $190.11 and I think uh, minus the commission of Alamy that will come to a total of $145 to $150. So in total $150 for July. And it's interesting because I didn't, I think I uploaded only one photo Actually, that's not true. I uploaded about half a dozen photos in July, uh, but I didn't do very much work. Uh, I was focusing on book covers, and then when I got rejected from the book covers, I was just so sunk by it, I uh, couldn't uh, bring myself to even look at a photo. Uh, but I'm getting over that now, and today uh, I'll probably do a couple of photos before I edit this video. How did you guys do? Let me know how you guys go. And also I will be working on the Alamy uh, video on giving, trying to give some secrets to my Alamy success. Now, I look forward to bringing that to you. Have a great August guys and talk to you in the next one.